Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to get the full collections of cloth for Character Creator 3 from Splatoon 2. Alright, you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already give you the download link at there. Just click into the first link, download all the cloth, shoes, accessory, 3D models from here. This is the, the Splatoon, download all Splatoon 2 cloth. Alright. Once you click into this link, it will lead you into this website. Alright, you can see here, it is really a lot of 3D models, included some of the accessories like hats, specs, and you can see here a lot of clothes, a lot of shirts, and once you scroll down, you can see a lot of shoes as well. And today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the cloth for CC3. Alright, just step by step. Let's say if I want to have, let's say I want to have this, this shirt or this jacket. What I need to do is just right click it, open it a new tab. Then you can see download zip archive. Okay, click download zip archive. Then start download. And then you have to wait for a while until it finish download. It will be inside your download folder. What you need to do is just move your mouse cursor down, right click the file explorer, and then enter the download folder. All right, as demo, I will just put the downloaded zip file on my desktop here. All right, this is a zip file that I just downloaded after I click download zip archive. What I need to do is just right click it and click extract all and then click extract. Once you click extract, it will extract it as a folder. You double click in, let's see, you double click in, the file is at there, striped rugby. All right, it have the FBX file. So next, open your icon 7. At the same time, open your character creator tree. In your character creator tree here, you click here. Modify, click here, load the neutral base, and replace all, click OK. This is character creator 3.4. Wait for the neutral base to be loaded, and wait for a while here. Now you, you can see the neutral base already loaded. Now we just want to try one thing to see, to create, to create any of the accessory just by loading the FBX file. If we fail to do it in CC3, then we, we have to use the icon. So this is first time to try. All right, so I copy this desti destination location, control C to copy, and then I paste it here, control V, enter. Now we load this FBX file to see whether it will success or fail. Double click. Now it is importing the FBX file. Now so far so good. See, it is here already. What you need to do is press W to push it up and press press R to make it bigger. Now you can see it is here. And we push it up so that it can fit to it can fit to the body. Again you press press R to make it smaller. You must make sure that it fit to the hand. Okay. So far, so good. Next, what you are going to do, adjust it a little bit. All right, now, next, we have to settle this part. And before that, come to here, click here, and go to find the texture. Where is the texture? The texture is inside the folder, under the images. So it should be this one. You drag in into the diffuse, and then the bump, you drag this normal PNG into the bump. And then this one, you choose bump. Now it should be better. Next, what we are going to do, this FBX file, you click here, click transfer skin weight. Before that, before we settle this, we have to transfer the skin weight first, and then choose the default. This is the shot, click apply. 
Alright, next you close it. Now we want to settle this part. This is the collision. We try to click confirm and calculate the collision to see. Now it is better. But it is not that effective. If you calculate again, now better. Calculate the collisions. And you have some of other parts that not yet settled. So we better do it manually. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Then we turn on the lights. Next, we click here. We don't want to use the confirm. Confirm. We use the edit mesh. Maybe it is more effective. Under the if the edit mesh here, we use the sculpt and then to pull it out. Press Q, pull it out this part. The radius make it be bigger, better. Now we do it manually. Just do it manually to pull it out. Press Q, pull it manually. Alright, now done this part. Next part is here. Press Q. Do it manually is better than automatic conform. Once you press C to rotate it, you have to press Q again to pull it out. Now better. Now this part. Alright, now it's okay already. And then click Edit Mesh again. Now, this glove, you can save it. Okay, how to save it? Just double click it and then go to the shirt. Click the custom. The custom, this is a shirt. I click plus, then save it manually. Next time, when you start a new character, I don't want to save this. Then you can apply it in any avatar. We just try one more time to apply it on any other avatar. Now this is this is a new avatar that loaded. Then you can just drag in the cloth. Double click in, it will automatically apply. And now this one you have to confirm it. Click confirm, calculate collisions, it will automatically. At this moment, what you need to do is go and edit again. Edit the mesh, scrub it to pull to push it out. All right, now done. So we can just try on different animations. Click here, send to icons to test the animation to see whether it is okay or not okay. Just have a test. All right, now this avatar already loaded into icon seven. We are going to test the animations. To say, just come to here, go to the motion. We choose some of the motion like dancing. Is there any dancing move? Like heady. Perform some of the dancing. All right, now we try to look at this avatar, how, how she dance. It's okay, you can see the whole cloth is fit into the animations and the, the full body, and it is really okay. To dance as well. It, it don't have any of the collisions there. It is perfect. Alright. And you can download other clothes as well. You can see it, it, it is really a lot. I don't know how to count all of this. It is really a lot of clothes, a lot of shirts from here, and even the shoes. For this tutorial, it's only for clothes. So, next tutorial, I may just show you how to wear the shoes for your CC3 avatar and just grab any shoes from here and any of the accessories from here as well. All right, that's all for today about how to get the full collections of the Splatoon clothes for your Character Creator 3. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all 
so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you'll receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!